Now, this is the forklift. You need, you need a license to operate this machine. That means the upstairs office workers can't drive it. Quiz, Mike, should you drive the forklift? I can and I have. No, 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 no. I said should you. You should not drive it. You should not drive the forklift. You You're not allowed that? to drive the forklift. It's not safe. You don't have a license. Guys, I'm not the only one who's driven the forklift. Pudge has driven the forklift. Madge. I thought your name was Pudge. No, it's always been Madge. Okay. I'm her. Her. Yes, her is qualified to work a dangerous machine. You are not. Okay? Uh, fine. Do you understand that? Yeesh. We do safety training every year or after an accident. We've never made it a full year. This particular time, I was reaching for a supply box on the top shelf when one office worker, who shall remain nameless, kicked the ladder out from under me and yelled, Hey, Daryl, how's it hanging? <laughs> and I fell and busted my ankle. And I'm legitimately scared for my workers. These are very dangerous machines down here, and the upstairs workers, Michael, should not go anywhere near them. Yes, yes. But it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. It would be the worst somebody, thing in the world. It the would hell very is much wrong so. With this it's man. a big red trash what compact. You, it's and not that's a very trash dangerous. Okay. It's it's a right, 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 I got it. I got it. Only on the rarest of occasions. No, would do I not go touch near it. it. There is no occasion for you to go near this stuff, okay? No. no. Make up. No. Hey, you're gonna you're gonna hurt yourself. Mike. Stand clear. Mike, get off of the lift, please. I'm fine. Come on I'm now. I'm fine. I'm fine. Here we go. Would you look? Get off the no, oh, oh, oh! We'll get somebody to clean that up. We're the ones that gotta clean that up. Damn it, Michael! We have to have this thing serviced. Cold front, coming into the warehouse! Uh-oh! Better put on your ski boots! Ooh. Whoa! You ever done this? Right? Breaker one nine. Copy. Oh. Oh. Ah, copy that breaker. Those Duke boys are at it again. Hey! Uh, do not touch my radio. We're not. Kidding. We're not doing anything. Here we go. Four times a charm. Like a road where you just learn hey, there's one thing here and the next day like sometimes you do when the dang you don't sometimes you do find the wall out there <laughs> Hey <laughs> crying? No Allergies? No Did Daryl touch you? What? Hey hey you idiot. Start over. Sir, I placed a bunch of golden tickets into five separate boxes, and somehow they all ended up at Blue Cross. How does this happen? Were the boxes near each other? Irrelevant. I put three pallets on a truck to Blue Cross once a week. They use a lot of paper. OK, I'm going to ask you something, and I want you to be honest. What is a pallet? Well, let's just say whoever was ahead won. That was you. It was us, really? I didn't, I didn't know. Great, I mean, I guess you guys work on Saturday. Your face. No, 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 I'm, I'm not coming in on Saturday. Yeah, this isn't happening. Uh, well, guys, you know, I am the boss, so. Yeah. So what, what's that? We, we coming in on Monday, right? Monday. <laughs> you guys believe me? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Dogs, you know? You should know me better than that. <laughs> no. Oh, do you think that would have been good for morale? Mm. No. 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 Exactly. No. I'm, I'm embarrassed it was even that close. So, now, of course, we're coming in Saturday. Mm. Gotta get in on this. Hey, it's cool. Man, I work in the warehouse. I'm cool. I'm hip and I'm jive. But I don't care about nobody. Do you know who I am? Happy Halloween, 
jerk! Still don't know who I am? I'll give you a hint. I go over other people's heads. Michael, this is a bad idea. What's a bad idea? Dressing up as somebody, I mean, when has that ever worked for you? Never! Okay, you know what, fine. I'm not Daryl. And thank God I'm not Daryl. Could you for once just let us enjoy a party instead of making it about all your issues? This is ridiculous. You'd think they'd discourage people from bringing in balloons. Hey, I think this guy playing Sweeney Todd is my plumber. No, Daryl. This guy's a world-class actor. And as in daylight is your plumber. No, it's my plumber. It says so in his bio. Apparently the director discovered him doing karaoke. It's his first play. He didn't even audition. Are you kidding me? Shh. If we don't listen to the overture, we won't recognize the musical themes when they come back later. All right, I'm sorry. My claims, we're all a family, you know We right? are, we are a family. Oh, okay, so, um, what's his name? All the way in the back, yeah. Oh, very funny. What's his name? Uh, <laughs> I'm thinking Roy. Roy left years ago. What's his name? I don't believe I have had the pleasure. Michael, I gave you a ride home last week and we spent an hour in traffic. What's his name? Jefferson. Nope. His name is Michael. Managing by walking around. This is our warehouse, or as I like to call it, the whore house. But don't you call it that, I've earned the right. Fine, don't worry about that. And here we have Mitta Raja's neighborhood. Come on over here. Hey, this is Ryan, he's temping upstairs. What's up? What's up? And this is the foreman, Mitta Raja's. It's not my real name. No. It's Daryl. Daryl is Mitta Rajas. Daryl Rogers. Daryl Philbin. Then Regis. Then Reg. Then Roger. Then Mitta Rogers. <laughs> Let's get down to business. Why don't you tell me why you think you deserve a raise? Well, it's simple, Mike. I mean, we merged these two branches, right? So now we're shipping twice as many orders as we used to. And with Roy going, we got a smaller crew. And I'm picking up all of his slack. So I think I should be compensated fairly by getting a raise. What? I can't hear you. I can't. What, Mike? Are you? You make very compelling arguments. 